Hi everyone, I'm Lori Harder and this is your spot to reconnect to your soul and get the tips and inspiration that you need to live a life that you love. So I get asked all the time, how do you stay inspired? And this question is often pertaining to um, body, but also business. I get it a lot. So if you are watching this and you maybe have a job right now that you aren't totally in love with and you want to start something else or maybe you want to turn your hobby into something that you get paid for, create another source of income. How do you get inspired? How do you get ideas? How do you stay inspired to continue to put out information for people to grow an audience? How do you do that? That's a question all the time. And I have to tell you that the answer is that inspiration is a habit. It's absolutely a full-time job and a habit and you can create the habit yourself. So how do we create the habit of inspiration? It sounds like something that absolutely would not happen. Like either you're creative or you're not, or you're inspired or you're not, but there are rituals that you're going to do in order to become completely inspired and you'll find that this works great for you when you apply them every single day. So because inspiration inspiration is, is a habit, can you guess how often you need to do these rituals? Yes, you guessed it. Every single day because rituals are all about consistency. So for me, in order to stay inspired, I need to do the things that inspire me. So if you don't know what those things are yet, you have time or you have to make time to sit down and figure out what they are or give these things a try. For me, it's 10 to 20 minutes of reading every single day. That's self-help motivational reading. Um, You can put in the comments, ask me questions about books. Uh, There are certain business books that I love depending on what I'm working on. There's certain self-help books, there's mindset books, there's spiritual books. I mean, there is literally books on everything. If you want to know what books to be reading, ask the people who are doing what you want to do what they are reading. That is number one. Reading books for me, it gives me new ideas. It makes me think from a totally different perspective than I'm used to thinking of. We can't get creative and get inspired just thinking of what we already know we have to learn so seek out opportunities and ways to learn Um, another thing that i love to do is listen to podcasts or google videos google inspirational videos some of my favorite people are tony robbins marie forleo gabby bernstein uh, jack canfield any of your john asaraf he's amazing too google any of your favorite people or just look For new people, look up names. There's amazing people every day doing awesome stuff on YouTube, on Periscope. That's huge now, you guys. And there's so much free information and inspirational information going around that that is another great way. Another awesome way that I stay inspired is to uh, get out and run. Get out in nature. Bring your book or your podcast out in nature and just be around people and be around energy. Because I'll tell you, even being in my house, I'm an entrepreneur, so I stay home a lot of the days and I have got to get out of my house and be around energy and be around people. Because even if I'm in my house for an entire day sometimes, uh, I just feel stagnant and the energy gets really stagnant because people are meant to be around other people, sharing ideas, sharing energy, sharing laughter. And that's where a lot of inspiration will come for you. So make sure that you are taking time to write down what inspires you and you're going to need to do that every single day. So you also have to schedule time to get creative. How do I schedule time to get creative? What if I'm not a creative person? Well, you have to do exercise to get into creativity mode. So for me, I'm writing a book right now and I need to be very creative. And there are a lot of mornings where I wake up at my scheduled time and I don't necessarily always feel creative, but what you have to do is just start taking action. So for me, I just have to start writing. Some mornings I start writing about the most random crap, literally. And eventually after I'm writing and writing and writing 20, 30 minutes, sometimes 60 minutes into it, I start getting these thoughts and things start flowing because it becomes a habit for you and your body and your mind knows that when I sit down every single day from that time that I planned, that I have to start turning it on. So eventually you're going to turn it on. Most likely it'll be every day, um, sometimes every other day, but you can't break that habit of setting that time for creativity and 
find either free writing or thinking or maybe you're a painter or maybe you draw or maybe listening to music or playing music or whatever that might be to get those creative juices flowing. If you're um, doing anything else that's giving information out to people, writing is a great way to get creative. So journaling, just sit and journal for 30 to 60 minutes and you'll find that ideas just start to flow. So creativity is also a habit that you have to keep in your schedule. So my number one tips are to schedule time every single day to get creative and do the things that inspire you. And you will absolutely stay in inspiration every single day. And if we're not seeking it out and if we're not doing the things to learn and to grow, you are gonna feel stagnant. You're not gonna have anything to say to anyone. I can always tell when I haven't been reading or doing my uh, rituals because I literally feel like I don't know what to talk about. Everybody's saying all the same stuff. And when you stay in inspiration, you feel like you have a plethora of things to talk about. So I want you to leave your comments below. Give me your tips. I wanna know what you do to stay creative or what you found helpful in this video. And make sure you share this with somebody who works in a creative job and a creative field um, and share the love. So thank you guys so much. Make sure that you come back to the website, lauriharder.com for more tips, more inspiration. And remember that we have the Bliss Project coming up and that is February 26th through the 28th. And that is where you can connect with everybody in this amazing, creative, inspirational, spiritual community. So I hope that you guys can join me in Newport Beach, California, and I will see you there. Bye, guys.